sit my f dunod wedi bod uh ruan uh du e uh creso um in katref to with uh now in sasneg uh and now in uh good morning how's your day um i'm man and welcome to my spooky house and i have a couple of boxes today these are from <laughs> Can't really read it from that way, cause we're on an antique card table, but oh well. So this is from Imperfect Foods, formerly known as Imperfect Produce, and I will have a referral link, like it's just your regular referral link, it's not some kind of partnership kind of thing, cause I am nowhere near that important. But if you sign up with my referral link, I'll get uh, $10 off my next uh, delivery, and you will get $10 off your first delivery. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're both helped out a little bit in this time of need. Now, the reason that I go with uh, Imperfect Produce is a couple reasons. So, first off, like, their thing is they buy up surplus and overstock and other things that might otherwise be thrown out. Um, from various food suppliers, and as has been um, blasted on the Daily Show in uh, the this last week, there is uh, th there are a lot of food suppliers who are throwing out excess because you know there are no longer you know certain restaurants open up you know and those that are, are doing a lot less business than they typically do because of the uh, COVID-19 thing. And so they buy up surplus, they buy up misshapen or undersized produce. This helps reduce food waste. I mean, obviously it doesn't take care of everything, but um, every little bit helps as they say. Uh, so that's one good reason. And you know, because a lot of it is uh, surplus, misshapen, undersized. They've expanded from um, imperfect produce to imperfect foods because they'll buy things that have been discontinued um, or the packaging has changed. You know, like they've redesigned the packaging and so everything of the old packaging that isn't already on the shelves, you know, would apparently be thrown away or, you know, um, ideally, I guess some of it is donated to places, but, um, you know, like, until recently, even the donation places could only take so much, I suppose. There's only so much they can take, and right now, like, the uh, the food banks and all that are understaffed, so... Um, and also, unlike a lot of food delivery places... Well, um, I think Amazon is the only um, online retailer that has a grocery uh, section that will accept um, your... EBT or SNAP or as it is literally known in Michigan food assistance program or FAP they will abbreviate it as FAP in the letters I have letters <laughs> to prove this for anybody who is genuinely curious it is hilarious but um so yeah like Amazon is one of few if not the only online retailer with a grocery division that will accept that, but um, Imperfect Foods, uh, they will uh, give a 33% discount, so like a, like nearly a full third off uh, if you send in a valid um, EBT card um, scan. So let's see what I got this month. And you can pick and choose what you get every um uh, it's every week or every other week. You can have it delivered weekly or fortnightly, which is nice. Um, you can skip a box um, if you, uh, you know, if you if it's suddenly not in your budget or so. Um, so that's nice as well. So let's see this uh, this fortnight. I have mine shipped fortnightly. Uh, just arrived today, which is a day late than it should have been. It should have been here yesterday, but I guess they're getting a little understaffed. So. Um, I'm also going to include a link uh, down below. Um, it doesn't matter if you're local to me. They work all over the U.S. Yeah, I believe it's just the U.S. right now. Um, so they work all over the U.S. Uh, if you need delivery work, you know, and would qualify for this sort of thing, 
uh, they are definitely hiring. I will, I will let you know that much. So let's see. We've got some, ooh, ready for summer grilling. A whole white button mushrooms. I got some mushrooms uh, last fortnight as well, and I um, really ought to use those. Okay, so we've also got approximately two pounds of red seedless grapes. I'm going to have a couple right now. Ooh, that one got squished. Two ears corn on the cob. The way I do corn on the cob, I, so I don't, um, I don't like to put it in a pot to boil. I like to um, grill it in the, um, or not grill it. I like to roast, well, I do like to grill it on a grill outside, but I don't have that. But I do like to put it in the oven and roast it that way. And, you know, just like on the rack, you know, however long on one side, flip it however long on the other, and then... I don't even use the li the little holders. I I put it in in the husk, and then I peel back the husk, and that's my holder. So I've got this said broccoli crowns. This is a little bit longer on the stem than the crowns, and it said that uh, these were smaller than they usually like, or you know than retailers usually like. So um yeah, I'm a little behind on my breakfast. A pair of some small um, it didn't say what kind of pears. These are definitely not, um, Danju or Bosque, which are the ones I usually like, but I do like me some pears. Um, so yes, um, not bruised or anything, just a little on the small side. But, I'm a small person. He'll come bad. We've got a pair of avocados. One looks like it got really sunburned here. Looks like one got sunburned, and this one just looks small, so... And I've got some pickling spices, which is packaged by Imperfect Foods. So, um, and I'm going to do some pickling of some things that may turn on me soon. I've also decided to try their House Blend Whole Bean Coffee. Ooh, which apparently has notes of turbinado sugar, okay, uh, date, apple, and lemon. Oh my gosh, this sounds wonderful. So yes, I think I am going to, I, hmm, great coffee is not the result of chance. We partnered with our friends at Intelligentsia to create this special blend. By drinking this coffee, okay, you're helping Latin American grow, oh my gosh, they say Latin American, not, not Latinx, or Latinx, as the people on TV say, which always sounds so awkward to me, because, you know, oh gosh, I was, I was going back and forth with somebody on uh, Facebook last night who was saying that, you know, as a, as a, as a whole-ass Mexican, with their words, obviously, um, that, uh, that, that they really can't stand, um, Latinx, um, as the, uh, as the gender-neutral alternative, especially since, um, Latin or Latin American, which was really, really common up until about 20 seven, I believe, um, but yeah, like, you know, there's documentation that Latin or Latin American w was the common, you know, like, gender-neutral, um, way of saying, you know, of referring to the Latino community, um, and I can understand why people would want something that sounds a little bit more neutral, because, you know, with, uh, with so many women identifying as Latina, um, Latino would then, you know, imply this is the masculine version, and therefore would suggest men as the default, and, like, even though my second language is Welsh, um, I lived in Los Angeles just long enough that I picked up a little bit of Spanish, and I know that Spanish does not inherently work that way like English would, but, oh well, um, but yeah, like, especially, like, when people say Latin X, it's like, okay, with, like, even EFL speakers like myself, when we say Latino or Latina, um, we say it in the, you know, typical way somebody who speaks Spanish or Portuguese would, with Latin, you know, O or A, Latina, Latino, so saying Latin X, you are just kind of highlighting how white this is, like, how, how performatively, you know, inclusive this is, how white that is, because that's like, you know, like, you don't say it Latin, um, you don't say Latin, you say Latin in English, no, you say, um, Latino, Latina, um, in, like, even in, England, where I see a lot of people pronouncing junta as junta, um, people will still default to Latina or Latina, you know, realizing that this is not an English word, right? Um, but no, uh, so yeah, like, Latin American, Latin American growers, <laughs> like, that is already the neutral, that is already the neutral, that is already the neutral, <laughs> it has existed for decades. But no, people gotta be, like, performatively inclusive, and, like, look how white we are, but we are inclusive of the Latin X. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Latin American, it has been Latin American, you are at least as old as I am. You remember when it was, when people said Latin American or just plain Latin, because contextually we would understand that you're speaking of the ethnic groups of the Americas, not the language groups of the, you know, Italic and Hibernian Peninsulae. <laughs> uh, okay, by drinking this coffee, you're helping a Latin American growers make a better living off of surplus beans that they otherwise would have sold at a loss. Thanks for showing the world the power of extraordinary coffee. Okay, I do have two cucumbers. 
So yeah, this one is a little bit on the shriveled side. This one is a little bit on the small side. Either way, they are now getting eaten. And we've got some surplus Angelic Bakehouse Garden Wraps. Ooh, which are, you know, tortilla-like substances that I can um, eat. Uh, and this is why I was really looking forward to it yesterday, because we've got wild smoked salmon trim. So trim is just like the bits when you slice um, smoked salmon for Novalox. But, uh, so yeah, like this is just the leftover. They do sell it in regular grocery stores, um, um, a lot of it branded even, but, uh, and I got this whole pack, this whole ass package for, uh, something like four fifty before, um, 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 before my, uh, my, my third off discount for things, so this is nice. Now they, uh, they have ice packs. They usually take them back um, with the next delivery, but um, due to all hell breaking loose, they are not necessarily doing that right now. So, oh well. So, now I've got a second box, and why did I fold my knife back up? I don't know. Um, uh, I've got cats. It was vaguely safer. Okay, and in this box, this second box, I have, ooh, a, uh, a thing of, what is this, blackberries? Yes, blackberries. Oh my gosh. I've got a whole ass bunch of kale. And I've got a, ooh, let's see, so I've got um, two, four kiwi, four kiwi, uh, I think this was just surplus kiwi, because there doesn't look like anything odd about those, whoa, how do I, I thought I only checked for four let, for two lemons, um, I've got four whole ass little bitty apples, four lemons, should have had two, or at least I only thought I checked for two, but I've got four lemons, do a lot of nice things with lemons. Uh, two lime, four blood oranges. Yep. Uh, this one's a little undersized, uh, but these are nice. These are nice. A grapefruit and one big ass carrot with a, I don't know, little bump there. And. So, uh, yeah, that is the thing of this fortnight. I still got some leftovers from the previous fortnight, which I need to use this weekend before they turn on me. Uh, but other than that, I got up nice and early for this, and I wanted to shoot this um, before um, anything that needed to be refrigerated right now got refrigerated and all that. And, uh, so, yeah, that is my, uh, my box this fortnight from, um, uh, Imperfect Foods, formerly known as Imperfect Produce, and maybe, just maybe, I will, um, do some quick video of my recipe. Hi, kitty. Hello, now. Hi. Um, maybe I'll, uh, post some recipes of things I'm doing with the things that might turn on me soon if I don't use them up. Um, if not... I don't know. I'll at least put, uh, I'll at least share them on Twitter. So yeah, like follow various social media that I got. Right, right, little noodle. Oh yes, yes. Oh please, 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 please pay attention to me. Pay attention to Kitty. Please pay attention to Kitty. Kitty never gets enough attentions. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, never enough attentions for the Kitty cats. No, no. Kitty needs all the attentions. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, my gosh. He loves that. My therapist and I have, like, the little uh, web chats um, over video now because he gets somebody else kind of in the room with me who gets to give him attention, even if it's only through her voice, right? 
But, yeah, so there should be a referral link in the description box below. Uh, it will get you $10 off your first box and $10 off my next box if you sign up for them through my referral, which would be nice. If you don't want to sign up, oh well, like, at least spread the word to others that you know who might get this kind of useful. Uh, obviously, I'm still getting my EBT benefits, but, um, because I have a, uh, a lot less stuff to do, um, with any leftover funding via, um, my, uh, my thing with my stuff, uh, my social security, um, I just figured, you know what, I might as well just, uh, uh, get some additional groceries this way. As always, um, feel free to follow social media, um, Rowan1334, uh, spelled like it's written up here, the Rowan, uh, on, uh, Instagram, Twitters, um, Rowan Music on, um, uh, Facebook page, and, uh, what else do I say? Um, Take care of yourselves, wear your sunscreen. Um, as always, if you have more dollars than cents, I've got a uh, PayPal tip jar and cash app um, in the description box below. Uh, I've also got uh, Patreon where you can um, contribute monthly to all of this nonsense. And as always, bats and kisses, and I love you all, and goodbye.